Is it still possible to get your groceries at a regular grocery store and still shop on a budget and save money? I'm talking Hy-Vee, Publix, Kroger, etc. Not Walmart, Aldi, you know, the normal places where we go when we want to save a lot of money. I personally do think it's possible to shop on a budget at regular grocery stores and today we're going to do just that. I'm at Hy-Vee because this is what we have here in my town. We have Hy-Vee in the Midwest. I would say it's comparable to a Publix or a Kroger, but typically when we talk about budget shopping, you know, we're talking about Walmart and Aldi and those types of grocery stores, but I wanted to test my theory today and see what deals we could find in the store. I have some tips to show you guys on how I save money at the regular grocery store, so let's go inside and then when we get home, I will show you everything that I got. The first tip is to always look at the ads and you want to look at the front and the back pages of the ad. That is what's going to have the best deals. Um, the inside of the ads do have sometimes some good deals as well, but if you're pressed for time and you really want to get the best prices on things, I recommend looking at the front and the back of the flyer. In addition, most grocery stores have online coupons now in their app or on their website. Hy-Vee releases a set of coupons weekly and they have fantastic deals. For example, this week you can get a pound of ground turkey for 99 cents, salad kits for 99 cents, pasta for 49 cents. Always check the quantity. For example, this one you can get three for that price, so that's a good deal. Chicken pot pies, etc. They always have an exclusive deal in their app as well, and this is typically a fantastic price. This is a loaf of bread for 48 cents, so definitely snap that up. Ivy also has a program called Fuel Saver. I'm not sure if any other grocery chains have this but essentially every time you shop you can buy items that will get you a certain amount of cents off your next gallon of gas so currently I have 66 cents on my fuel saver I'll try to get some things today that have um, those benefits as well and then I can kind of show you guys how that works but essentially if I went to fill up you know 10 gallons of gas 60 cents off per gallon that would give me over six dollars off on my gas typically I get way more than that sometimes I've gotten a tank of gas for like 10 or $20, uh, so definitely check that out as well. The other thing we gotta look out for is the January perks. You can get like a free pineapple, which I already got that before. You can get free chicken breast, lots of stuff. So here are those Fresh Express chopped salad kits. They're actually normally $4.59, which is a crazy price, but I'm gonna get one for 99 cents with that coupon. The other thing is make sure that you check the brands. For example, at Hy-Vee, these Dole Bananas are 69 cents a pound, but right next to them, they have these That's Smart Bananas for 59 cents a pound. So you're gonna save money and it's basically the same thing. So this is kind of a crazy deal. Um, they have this Buy This Get That Free. So for example, if you buy a box of K-Cups, you get a coffee cake, coffee creamer, and a dozen eggs for free. Um, buy a family size chicken pot pie, you get rolls, cookies, and a Pepsi for free buy tilapia fillets, get frozen veggies and rice for free. I might have to check this out. Here's another tip, and I have no idea why this is like this, but you can get this basil one ounce for $2.99, or you can get a two ounce pack for $2.99, twice as much. I don't know why it's always like that here, but it is, it's very odd. Okay, so I found the free coffee cakes. They've got several different flavors, strawberry, blueberry, there's cherry over there, and then there's also a cream cheese one. Okay, so here's the chili beans that we saw on sale. So you can get three cans of these for 69 cents each, which they're, oh my gosh, <laughs> which normally they're 99 cents. So you're saving almost a dollar. It's like, oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna grab three of these. Okay, so the paste salsa is also on coupon for 99 cents, which it's normally 4.28. So that's a really good, oh actually no, I need to find their current size. That's, that's the wrong size. Do they have any left? Uh oh. So they're out of the pace. So I won't be able to use that coupon, but that's what happens when you don't come the first day that coupons are available. Okay, so this is one of the things that we're gonna get free. Is this Wide Awake Coffee Creamer. Um, it's normally $2.99. So this is actually a really good price on shredded cheese, um, especially for Sargento, two for $4. So you can get them for $2 each, I don't know. I might have to see what kind they have and grab a couple, because 
Cheese is one of those things you can stock up on when it's on sale and it keeps either in the fridge or the freezer really well. Okay, so <laughs> the last thing, last coupon thing I'm gonna get are these um, banquet pot pies. Do you guys remember these? Okay, so I, I have not bought these in a hot freaking minute. Um, and I don't think I've ever got the sausage and gravy ones. But I think we're gonna try them. I feel like we used to get these a lot in college, or Adam did anyway. I didn't, I don't think I really ever ate these, but I know that Adam did. I might get two of these and a chicken one. Okay, so I'm back from hy -Vee now. Here is everything I got. I actually think I did pretty well for going to the regular grocery store, and I'm gonna tell you just how much I saved. So I spent $131.43 and the dollar amount of coupons that I had was $36.82. So that is a huge savings. Plus, I also got a ton back on my fuel saver. So now I will be getting uh, about $24 off my next tank of gas. So I would say that's a pretty good savings. Let me show you everything that I got. So I did get some romaine lettuce. Um, this was not on sale, but I went ahead and went with the cheaper, unpre-washed kind. And this is a pretty big head of romaine. Um, I would say this is comparable to at least two of the smaller heads of romaine, and this was $2.39, so I didn't think it was too bad. I got some bananas. I talked to you guys about those in the store. They had the shredded cheese, two for $4, and I decided to get it just to kind of stock up. We always are using shredded cheddar, and especially since I make lasagnas for lasagna love, I always need um, shredded mozzarella on hand. So I got two bags of that. These were $2 each. I also got this French onion dip from Prairie Farms. This was a coupon and I believe the dollar amount that I got off of this was like a dollar seventy something. It ended up being only 98 cents. They also had chips on sale like plain potato chips for 99 cents. I totally forgot to grab those so I'll have to grab them next time I go but that's definitely a great deal that would go with that. I got two oranges. Adam wanted those for um, drinks he keeps like citrus fruits and stuff downstairs um, by his bar I also got the um, grape tomatoes and then I ended up getting the fresh express chopped kit this is the chipotle cheddar and again I got this for 99 cents which I think is a fantastic deal I did go ahead and get the basil um, this obviously isn't a budget item but 2.99 I don't think is a terrible price for this I think I don't know that I can get basil this cheap at Walmart either and obviously Aldi doesn't have it. I did get the tomatoes and this to make some caprese salad just because I have some mozzarella in the fridge that I want to use up. I also got some cheddar cheese snacks. Kira really likes to snack on these and one thing I want to say too is obviously if you're shopping at like our brand name store like Hy-Vee, normally the store brand is a lot cheaper if you can get it. I know like something like this is probably almost two dollars cheaper than like the cracker barrel cracker barrel brand or something like that unless you have a sale so while i don't normally get like 100 percent of my groceries at hy-vee i do think it's possible to go there and still save money you just have to be a little bit more cognizant about it and plan it out use coupons that kind of thing okay so this cottage bread was 58 cents with an in-store coupon which i thought was fantastic so i got that we actually don't need bread right now, but obviously bread freezes really well. So I'll put that in the freezer. These banquet pot pies were on sale for 49 cents each. So I ended up getting one of the um, Salisbury steak ones. I don't know, I've never had <laughs> that one before. Um, and then I showed out of the sausage gravy ones. He thought those looked interesting. So we'll see how those are. Again, like I said, this isn't something I normally purchase. I don't even know the last time I bought pot pies, but anyway. They were super cheap. Um, I got some of the Nature Valley granola bars. I like to keep these upstairs in my office. There are so many days when I'm just on like call after call after call, and especially if I get hungry, I need something to get me through. So I have these Nature Valley. They're the peanut butter chocolate wafer bars. These are really good. I highly recommend them. And then I haven't had these before, but they are the chocolate peanut butter nature valley mini sandwiches so i'll try those uh, i got some chili powder because i was all out 
This was $2.99. Again, I got the store brand, so it was cheaper. The pasta I ended up getting for, I believe, $0.47 cents a box. There was a limit of three, but that is really, really good. A really, really good price. So I got two uh, one-pound boxes of spaghetti. And then for the other one, I decided to get elbow macaroni just because I can always use that. I also got a half gallon of milk because we were out of that. Another thing that they have at Hy-Vee is this That's Smart brand. And it's a generic brand that's even cheaper than the Hy-Vee brand. So a lot of times I'll go for that, especially if it's something that they have that brand in. Um, it ends up being pretty cheap. And then I also got this one pound package of ground turkey. Uh, this was 99 cents, which I think is a fantastic deal. Okay, so I also got the sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. This was free with that deal that I got along with the coffee, so that was awesome. And then they had the Tyson blackened chicken strips on sale. These are normally 10 something, and they were on sale for $7.99, so I went ahead and got two bags. Like I said, this isn't necessarily, quote, budget-friendly, but these are, I think, pretty healthy, and they make a great lunch, especially when I'm pressed for time during the week. I love to just throw them in the air fryer, and I'll have them, like, with a salad, dip them in some ranch dressing. They're really delicious. I would highly recommend them. Um, I also got three cans of the Bush's chili beans. These were on sale for $0.69 cents each. I can always use those in chili. Um, I got some buttermilk. That's the other thing about stores like Hy-Vee is they have different options for sizes of things. Like, for example, if I go to Walmart, I can only get one size of buttermilk and it's like a huge container and sometimes I don't use it all. But if I just want to make a little bit of dressing or something, then it's nice to be able to get um, the smaller container at Hy-Vee. I got the package of tilapia and along with this, you got a free bag of jasmine rice so i got this free along with the tilapia and then i also got these mixed vegetables so i believe the mixed vegetables were a dollar fifty and then this was i think a dollar sixty seven so pretty good deal that's actually like a whole meal right tilapia rice and mixed veggies a whole meal for two for what six bucks i think so that's pretty good and then these were also totally free these are the panko encrusted chicken breast fillets these are with like the hy -Vee plus um membership that i have they have free stuff every single month and um i showed you guys in the store like this month that you could get like a free pineapple i already got that one other time so i couldn't get it again but like i said this was free they're two six ounce panko encrusted chicken breast fillets so can't beat free and then I got a dozen large eggs these were also free with the coffee deal and then this huge coffee cake um, was also free the regular price is $5.99 this is a cream cheese Texas coffee cake so I'm not sure how quickly we'll eat this so I'll probably have to freeze part of it um, but we're going into the weekend now so it'll be perfect to have that but yeah, I thought that was a really good deal. Now, the only thing is, is that you did have to buy one of these donut shop um, blend high V K cups, which this is a huge box. I didn't realize that you had to buy the 100 count. However, we have Keurigs here and we use K cups all the time. So I just decided to go for it. Even though this was $29.99, that's actually a pretty decent price for 100 K cups. It's comparable to what you would find at like Costco or anywhere like that. So I went ahead and got it because I ended up getting like $11 in free stuff along with it. Okay, so Hot Pockets. Um, I haven't purchased these in a while and the kids like them for after school snacks. Um, these were actually on sale for $2 a box. Um, another thing I wanna say is that if the sign says like these five for $10, you don't have to buy five boxes to get the $2 price. You can buy as many as you want. So I went ahead and got three boxes, two pepperoni pizza and one pepperoni and sausage, but $2 is a really good deal for those. And then um, I wanted to get like some frozen breakfast items. So I got some sausage, egg and cheese biscuits. I was price comparing these with like the Jimmy Dean and I believe these were around five something and the Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches were like seven sixty nine. So just by buying the Hy-Vee store brand, I saved like $2 Oh, I think over $2 on that so definitely check out store brands on things like that i also had to get some body wash and shampoo while i was there normally i don't get this stuff at hy-vee just because it's not 
as cost effective, but since I was there, I decided to grab it. They actually had the Dove shampoo on sale for $3.99, and Kira needed some shampoo, so I got that for her. I actually didn't think that that was too bad of a price. And then Adam needed some body wash, so I got the Old Spice. Um, I think this was $5.29 or something like that. Probably could get it cheaper at Walmart, but again, I was there, and I didn't want to go to another store. And then for soda, soda has been really expensive lately. So they had an in-store coupon where if you bought two 12-packs, you could get a third free. So I ended up getting um, $5.99 off, so basically $12 for three. 12 packs which isn't necessarily the cheapest um, but soda has gone up quite a bit I can remember when I used to be able to get like four 12 packs for ten dollars but no longer so that's what I got so that's everything that I got for around $130 I thought that was honestly pretty good again with the over $30 in coupons and the over $20 off that I'm gonna get in next time I get gas so as we are all painfully aware, inflation has been at an all-time high the past few years, especially on groceries, but on other things too. And so I want you to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you have notifications turned on. Oh, wait. Because next week, starting on Monday, January 24th through Friday, January 28th, I am going to be posting a new video every day focused on some type of budgeting or money saving. We're going to be talking about meal planning, thrift shopping. We're going to do some pantry cooking using up what we have in our houses. We're also going to talk about some cheap cleaning supply hacks. And I also am planning an extreme budget meals video, which I'm super excited about. So I hope to see you guys next week and thanks so much for watching let me know how you've been saving money at the grocery store in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video bye